In a state-run TV interview released Sunday afternoon, Russian President Vladimir Putin saying Russia is ready for talks to end the war in Ukraine. It's not the first time Putin has offered to negotiate, and Ukrainian officials have already dismissed the offer as not serious. Putin's offer comes as Russia's attacks on Ukraine continued on Christmas Day, after airstrikes hit the southern Ukrainian city of Kherson on Christmas Eve, killing 10 people and wounding 55 more. Ukraine's president urging his countrymen to keep the faith. We will celebrate our holidays as always. We'll smile and be happy, he said in a Christmas Eve message. Lesya Zadilska and her family are doing just that. They're cooking over a gas camping stove. Are you celebrating Christmas in spite of Putin? I would say yes. We know they want to destroy all our holidays, so uh, some holidays for us, they could be targeted for them just like it is in her songs. But from the front lines to the home front, Christmas carries on. Russian bombs leveled the Kovtum family house in Makarev outside Kiev. So last Christmas at this time, you were making Christmas dinner here. Yes, we were decorating a Christmas tree here with handmade toys, she said. Now they live in a prefab, modular home next door, their Christmas tree smaller than they're used to. Oksana's seven-year-old grandson David let me decorate it with him. David's parents, Vitaly and Tatiana, told me David was distraught when his home was destroyed. It was tough for us to accept what happened, she told me, much less to explain it to David. The boys on the front are always front of mind. Vitaly's brother Mikhailo is deployed as a military cook. He's busy cooking Christmas dinner for his comrades. Are you guys in a good mood, Vitaly asks. They are, Mikhailo responds. Even though they're not at home, they're in a good mood. A bit of Christmas spirit, even as this war rages on. And guys, Christmas here was political. St. Michael's Cathedral behind me, for the first time ever, held a Christmas mass yesterday on December 25th, as opposed to waiting until January 7th. That's when it's normally celebrated in Russia. And that's because more Ukrainians want to celebrate Christmas the way they do it in Western Europe. Kristen? Another incredible sign of their resilience there. Matt Bradley, thank you for that. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.